how this disturbing Hollywood creep lost everything. I had no idea. Hold Kevin on. Spacey became a widely beloved actor with his portrayal of complex, borderline, psychopathic characters. Right, Men right. who were charming yet twisted, smug yet relatable. His accuracy yeah. in embodying such roles made the allegations of predatory behavior against him Ooh. believable. In Hollywood, Ooh. a single allegation can destroy a career. Yo, I haven't been in a live stream since before you hit a meal because time zone's a bitch, but I want to say congratulations, you deserve it. And on to the diamond play button. Appreciate you. And yes, do a fool, you missed the uh, P.O. box already. Career, particularly if it aligns with public perception. Spacey's career was defined by his embodiment of morally ambiguous characters, which made the real life accusations against him seem plausible. But Spacey mm. didn't have just one accusation. He oh, had more than whoa, 50. Whoa, whoa, as you can whoa, imagine, whoa, 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 when the scripts become real, it's crazy work. That's mega double digits. Whoa. Reaching halt in 2017 when the allegations came to light. Today, he says he is flat broke, facing foreclosure. Where'd you live now? Well, it's funny you ask that question because this week, uh, where I have been living in Baltimore uh, is being foreclosed on. It, my house is being sold at auction. Why is it being foreclosed? Because I can't pay the bills that I owe. Although Kevin is not currently exonerated yeah, from dead. all charges, Damn. he has had some victories in court. Many people still support Spacey. They see him as a victim of false allegations and cancel culture. However, others say there are simply too many allegations it's for this to be many. a smear campaign. 50? Not to mention that- Over 50? 50 is crazy. It's insane. These ain't even been like right. I, super. I, I can see like I can see like five random people just hopping on the train because they see you got money and they want a bit yeah. like some money. 50 plus. 50 plus. The two of his accusers conveniently died during their legal pursuits against the actor. Oh, oh. Today, we are going oh. to dive into the mysterious case of Kevin Spacey, examine the interplay between public perception and career longevity, the media's role in all of this, as well as analyze the cryptic messages he left us along the way. Because I can promise you this. If I didn't pay the price for the things we both know I did do, I'm certainly not going to pay the price for the things I didn't do. Amid the accusations Damn. making headlines, okay. many people expressed anger and disappointment since Spacey is a beloved actor with an amazing career catalog. His acting origins began in high school, where Kevin pursued He's musical theater after stuff. failing to become- You know who you look like? Ooh. You look like Fred with a fuller face. Oh, yeah. He looks like Fred with a fuller face. I'm a comedian. Spacey graduated from Chatsworth High School in it, Los Neon. Angeles, California. He packed his bags and moved across the country to attend Juilliard in New York City from 1979 to 1981. Throughout the 1980s, Kevin took his first step into professional acting. He performed on Broadway, starring in a I production like of a Henrik 20s. Ibsen's <laughs> Ghosts, Malaire's The Misanthrope, and David Robb's Hurley Burley, among others. By the mid-80s, his profile grew substantially, performing on Broadway while simultaneously appearing in film and television. After substantial was, roles in films like working. See No Evil, Hear No Evil, and Dad, Spacey won a Tony Award in 1991 for his portrayal of Uncle Apple Louie in Neil working. Simon's Broadway hit, Lost in Yonkers. For the next five years, he continued to establish himself in Hollywood, gaining prominence for his role as Verbal Kent in the 1995 uh, crime wicked, thriller though. film, The Usual Suspects. His performance- I just seen a TikTok about that. The, 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 they had a police lineup scene in this movie mm -hmm. to where they was all supposed to act like they didn't care about the, the cops calling them forward or whatever. Cause they had, you know, the high lineups work. Yeah. And they just couldn't stop laughing. Like none of these five could, like the whole day, even when they took a break from lunch and the director was like, y'all gotta get it together. I don't have nothing to use. <laughs> they couldn't, the, it only got worse. And so they had to use the laughing. That is with the 25! Yeah, appreciate ya! Jesus Christ, W25. But well, basically, this whole scene of them in the lineup is just them laughing. It only worked because that's they were supposed to act like they didn't care anyway, so they had to use that. But I haven't seen the movie, though. I'll just, I'll just say that. The enigmatic criminal won him the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Thank you so much, Mom, for driving me to those acting classes on Ventura Boulevard when I was 16. I told you they would pay off, and here's the pudding. Spacey then appeared in blockbuster okay. films like Outbreak, Seven, A Time to Kill, Damn. LA Confidential, Damn. The Negotiator, and American Beauty where Kevin received praise for his performances before earning another Tony Award nomination Damn. in 1999 for a revival of Eugene O'Neill's Broadway play, The Iceman Comet. 
Do you feel like, okay, I feel like back in the day there were more heavy hitter movies than they are now? Ooh, yeah, that's what it feel like. Because yeah. everything was going to theaters. Yeah. Okay, that's everything was going to theaters, so that's what it kind of feel like. It, it's, it's probably more movies now, but it's mm -hmm. so many places these movies are at. Yeah. It's only the really publicized ones that we hear about. Smith. Yeah. That same year, he earned his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. However, his career took a bit of a nosedive throughout the early 2000s as Spacey failed to produce another commercial hit. In 2006, he appeared as Lex Luthor in what should have been a blockbuster oh. hit in the form of Superman Hell, no, Returns. Home, but the film earned a oh, disappointing $391 oh, million worldwide on a two- Disappointing. Well, it was on a two hundred million dollar budget. Oh, okay. Still two hundred million in profit. No, that's a yeah. You close. That's two hundred million in profit. One hundred twenty three million dollar budget, oh, wow. forcing Warner I mean, Brothers to cancel yeah. the sequel. Outside of the two thousand eight heist drama film Twenty One, which Stacy helped billion. produce, and the comedy film Horrible Bosses, it seemed like good. Kevin had reached a point in his career where the number of quality roles available started to decrease. As we approached the twenty tens, we started to get in the full swing of the fast food era of movies. CGI, pretty faced actors, were cycled plots, predictable endings, while straying away from the types of films that Spacey thrived in. Character-driven, slow-paced, twisted, That's, and unpredictable. Yeah. Although he was a talented actor, Spacey wasn't considered a box office draw, nor did he acquire the same star power as a Brad Pitt or Will Smith. Amid what seemed to be the slow decay of his career, Spacey had a resurgence in 2013 with the Netflix original series That's House of Cards. His, his career was okay. back at an all-time okay. high in the mid-2010s until some shocking allegations would be revealed revealed, bringing his career to a screeching halt and ultimately causing the downfall he is still trying to recover from. Oh, and by the way, we are so close to reaching 2 million subscribers. So if Damn! You Chat, we're so close to, to reaching reach 2 million subscribers <laughs> over here, too. So, so what? Oh, this is the second channel. Never oh. mind. Never mind. Uh, no love to the face. <laughs> yes, this is live, man. Oh, man. We don't ever record, pre-record live. Actually, you stupid. What? What? <laughs> You haven't yet please consider subscribing to the channel i love making these videos for you guys although i'm not gonna lie from the planning to the scripting to the editing it can be quite taxing on me and that's where the sponsor of today's video in oh. released in 2015 was a creates the first rough draft for from there's any at just bar it's in the first season as well as understand the business of unearthing allegations Sorry, it's far too common in hollywood that people in Ooh. positions of authority okay. have abused their power Weinstein. exploiting aspiring actors and in Hollywood that what do you do? Abuse his power. Right. Harvey Weinstein. He abused his power. I know the name, but I just don't know what he do. He did a lot of sick shit, you know? That people in positions of, of authority of, have abused their power, exploiting aspiring actors and staff through coercion, harassment, and assault, thus creating the casting couch phenomenon, where both men and women are pressured into great, providing... Man favors in exchange for career advancement. The pervasive culture actually. of silence and fear of retaliation has allowed these abuses to continue unchecked for decades. However, in the past few years, justice is beginning to be served, as we see more and more powerful predators get exposed for their harmful crimes. Down this with has resulted the in victims feeling so. empowered and confident to speak up about their experiences, because they know they have a better chance of being believed and not silenced or ridiculed. But some people believe that the Ooh. pendulum has swung the other way. And now allegations are being used as a tactic for people to get attention or simply cancel the people they don't like. There is no doubt that the media is benefiting from these allegations, whether true or I ain't gonna lie, bro. You you say I did some shit that I didn't do. I'm suing you to smithereens. But I'm gonna blast you. I'm suing I'm, you I'm to smithereens. I'm gonna give them a reason. You ruined my career? Whoa. Send me to jail. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's shit, Log bro. in the GTA so I can take you out. <laughs> Why? What? <laughs> That's crazy. False. If anyone goes on social media and makes an allegation, you might see mainstream publications talking about it the very next day. Since nobody really buys magazines or newspapers anymore, these media outlets are reliant on website traffic something. so they can sell advertising slots to brands. The more page views they get, the more money they make from ads. Same thing with YouTubers. Therefore, they are incentivized to come up with the best, juiciest headline to get someone to click. But with attention spans dropping rapidly, Whoa, most people click, crazy read the horrifying accusations, and just take them as fact. People say things like, oh yeah, I heard that person was a PDF file, or oh yeah, I heard that person is a racist. And those conversations spread like wildfire. The readers Very get their true. shocking news, the publications get their ad revenue, and the alleged perpetrator just kind of has to deal with it. Now, if the allegations turn out to be true, then, well, 
it's not like we feel bad for the perpetrator, yeah. right? If the allegations turn out to be untrue or the claimant recants their statement or walks it back somehow, those same publications who initially reported don't often report the news that would Hell exonerate no. the alleged perpetrator. They, they, it's like Hell, they don't take like, the time um, to fix nothing. Like I had to hear the, uh, I think Mike told me the whole situation with uh, Kang the Conqueror. What's the, the nigga who looked uh -huh. like he was slate? Uh -huh. Jonathan May. I, I still don't know what like the end result of that yeah. was. Like they both ended up being um, in the wrong guilty. Yeah, yeah. yeah and he was wrong. he was guilty because he was he hurt her finger or some trying to get away from her. And it's like he not going back to yeah, Marvel. He's he was. cooked. He's cooked. Why all the PDFs be famous? It's not that they all famous. It's that the famous ones you gonna hear about. Yeah, it's thousands, hundreds of thousands. Million, of them. Yeah. million. It's a bunch of them in a the database. You get on like the the the, the cool. site to see who around you. They around you. You just don't. They just not famous. Facts. That's because most people probably don't click on the he's innocent article. So no money in that. And nobody wants to admit that they were wrong and got duped into spreading misinformation. Plus, no matter what new information comes to light or what the results of legal proceedings are, some people will still think in the back of their mind that uh, what guilty. initially was alleged could this be is true. true. Yep. This is why public mm -hmm. perception and branding is so important. If the world very, sees you as important. this nice, unproblematic guy, then an allegation probably won't take you down. But in in the case of Kevin Spacey, there were just far too many allegations and it just 50? seemed believable. The reason I put so much emphasis on seemed is because according to the legal proceedings and the courts as of right now, he's innocent. But according to the public, he's guilty. So well, let's dive in. It all began in 2017 when actor Anthony Rapp would be- Ain't that the evil guy? He was in something. He was an evil guy. Anthony Rapp? I don't know. I, don't I forget know. what movie he was in. But I was like, dang, he looks Aryan. Like- like, like, you know how, like, with they blonde hair, blue, like, the super white people? Yeah. I hope Aaron, is Aaron racist? Yeah, is Aaron racist? I don't, I think that's what they call themselves. No, I think they are, but I, I don't know if the term is, I think they are. Is the term, is the term. Okay. okay. You are. <laughs> <laughs> the first public Kevin Spacey Wait, accuser. Okay, like, Anthony is mostly known for his appearance in the science fiction television series oh, means Star Blue Trek Discovery. Oh. In an interview with well, BuzzFeed News, uh, rap claimed actor mm. Kevin Spacey made an unwanted oh. sexual advance towards him in 1986 when rap was 14 86? and Spacey was 26. At the time, rap and Spacey were performing on Broadway when Spacey birthday, invited rap to a party CJ? at his home. According to rap, he was the only child in attendance and did didn't notice that he was the only guest left until a seemingly intoxicated Kevin hoisted him into bed. He picked me up like a groom picks up the bride over the threshold, but I don't like squirm away initially because I'm like, what's going on? And he lays down on top of me. Whoa. He was trying to seduce me, rapper called. I don't know if I would have used Yo, that language, but I was aware party. that he was trying to get with me. Actually, Rap eventually squirmed free from underneath Spacey, collecting himself in the bathroom before informing Kevin that he was leaving. He followed me to the front door of the apartment, and as I opened the door to leave, he Yo. was leaning on the front door frame, and he was like, are you sure you want to go? I said, yes, good night, and then I did leave. At one point, Rap met with a lawyer to discuss the incident. The lawyer told him How there was no case worth pursuing. True. Although Kevin's behavior sounds incredibly creepy, oh. it doesn't really seem like he's being accused of a crime here, but the media asked absolutely exploded with this story. Spacey responded to the accusation with a tweet saying that he did not remember the encounter, but quote, if I did behave then as he describes, I owe him the sincerest apology for what would have been deeply inappropriate drunken behavior. This is definitely a strange way to respond to this allegation. Like saying you don't remember kind of leaves the door open for the story being true. And it wouldn't have just been- But I think he's also trying to not discredit yeah, the kid. Yeah. You know, he was a kid at the time. Especially if he was actually drunk. Yeah, yeah drunk. actually, if he was drunk enough to do that, he definitely don't remember. Yeah. But at the same time, hopefully the apology was sincere. Yeah. And I hopefully guess. he's not a monster, but. Yeah. And why people. 49 plus more allegations. Yeah. Why people wait so long to come out with stuff? There's reasons, know. but. I, not facts. I, I, I don't know. Not facts. I don't know. Inappropriate behavior, it would have been assault and pedophilia. 
Additionally, he concluded the apology by saying, I have had relationships with both men and women. I have loved and had romantic encounters with men throughout my life, and I choose now to live as a gay man. Many people felt like he was trying to deflect or gain sympathy by pandering to the LGBTQ community. News outlets would report on the statements from other celebrities who believed Spacey was attempting to change the subject and shift focus away from rap's accusations. The next day, October 30th, Roberto Cavazos, who is a Mexican actor, made accusations that he says are on the verge of being called harassment. In a translated post, he said, There are many of us who have a Kevin Spacey story. It seems that all you had to do was be a man under 30 for Mr. Spacey to feel free to touch you. It was so common that it even became a local joke in very bad taste. The next day, October 31st, Daniel Beale told The Sun he was having a cigarette break when the Oscar-winning actor sat beside him on a bench, flashed his privates, and said, It's big, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa. What? How you even... Where his pants at? Like, hi... Whoa. Hey, Barry's on. Appreciate you, man. Whoa. It's crazy either way, because if they making this up, that's absurd. But if it's true, that's even more absurd. Well, I think it's equally absurd. If it's true, damn. And if all of them are just making this up, and it's 50 plus people lying, that's, that's insane. crazy. That's insane. Fucking insane, dude. Disgusted Dan returned to work at the bar, only to be followed by Spacey, who insisted the then 19 year old take his expensive Swiss watch. Dan said yesterday, I thought he was joking, but he took off his watch and gave it to me. Looking back, I realized it was to keep me quiet. Also on October 31st, an anonymous man named John told the BBC that he met Spacey in 1984 when he was 16, and they stayed in touch by writing letters to one okay. another. When John was 17, Spacey invited him for a weekend at his New York City home, where he was quote, charming and brotherly. On the first night, Spacey became affectionate in ways John found unwelcome. He put his hand on John's thigh an arm around his shoulder and rubbed his arm. At bedtime, John said Spacey asked him to share his bed, but John insisted on sleeping on the I'm sofa. On the, couch, the following bro. morning, John said he woke up with Spacey's head on his stomach and his arms wrapped around him. Some people were suspicious as to the way that these accusations were coming out. Whoa. It's rare for victims to Whoa. share their stories, the and it is uncommon for men to admit that they were assaulted, especially by another man. Some people looked at this as a calculated attack on Spacey's career, whereas other Others think that he was such a predator that these victims finally felt comfortable sharing their trauma. These allegations were unearthed at a critical time for Spacey, as he was receiving a career resurgence with his role as Francis J. Underwood in the Netflix original series. I mean, if we being honest though, all the allegations do like they coincide. Yeah, they all. It's always a bit. This is not new. It's all like if we take Epstein for example. Apparently, Epstein is the most guilty motherfucker on the planet, and all of his big stuff came at one time. Maybe it had shit in the past that we didn't we weren't paying attention yeah, to it was really that in the past. but this last time before he was you know what I'm saying? Out of there all of this shit came at once. Same thing with uh Weinstein, same thing with Diddy, same thing with all of them. It could just it's like floodgates. It's like you know what? <laughs> Forget him. <Yeah. laughs> so it could go either way. It could go either way. Series House of Cards. House of Cards is based on the 1989 novel of the same name. The series is a political drama yeah, that follows the Hollywood ruthless secret. and ambitious Frank Underwood as he navigates the treacherous landscape of Washington, D.C. After being passed over for the position of Secretary of State, Frank, a cunning and manipulative House Majority Whip, embarks on a calculated quest for power. Alongside his equally ambitious wife, Frank employs a combination of manipulation, betrayal, and even murder to climb the political political ladder. The series delves into themes of power, corruption, uh -huh, uh -huh. and the dark side of American politics, it showcasing Frank's on. ruthless pursuit of the presidency and the moral compromises he makes along the way. To say this show was a hit is a massive understatement. It is potentially the best Netflix original in their entire catalog. House of Cards is the- Okay. Whoa. Okay. Hold on. Hold on What's the best? What you got? What you got? We What's... ain't gonna say that like Castlevania don't exist. I mean, but I don't think- Best Netflix. I don't think Castlevania is like has oh, enough eyes on it. What about uh, what's the other one? There's another one that I started watching because I just started watching this too. There's oh, you just started watching House of Cards. But there's another one that I think is better. Um, I just started watching it. It's with the dude. Um, fuck. Go to Netflix real quick. Well, I ain't logged in. Already. It's gonna it's gonna be on the home screen. Nah, it's not there. It's about the dude who's the president. Like he ends up being the president because uh the White House was attacked. That bitch is. 
great. That bitch is amazing. That, Su- Suits is not a Netflix original. That bitch no. is amazing. Is it designated? I don't think it's designated Survivor. But de- is it? Is designated Survivor? That bitch is a um, nigga. Designated I say, Survivor. I say, oh, okay. That nigga, his daughter, his daughter. He say, this can't be my daughter talking to me. Da 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 da. And she was like, she was like, well, he was like, spoil, no spoil it. Oh, don't spoil that it. That whore. I was like, don't spoil it. <laughs> the guy, yeah, the guy from 24, yeah. The only streaming television series to receive major Emmy nominations. The show also earned eight Golden Globe Award nominations, with Robin Wright winning for Best Actress in 2014 and Spacey winning for Best Actor in 2015. However, amid allegations from Anthony Rapp, filming was suspended on the sixth and final season of House of Cards. Damn. Not long Damn. after, Spacey was so, removed from the cast that? and his executive producer role. Without Spacey Damn. on the show, it suffered immensely, of which course. led to the season ending abruptly in the worst way possible in the middle of season six. Damn. It's also important to consider that Kevin embodied the character of Frank Underwood so well, he was so evil and conniving that it just strengthened people's oh, yeah. beliefs that he was guilty. Also, ah. these weird cryptic YouTube videos he posted did not help him, but we'll get to that later. Oh, Spacey's all... future projects were also either canceled or or recast. The biographical film Gore, starring Spacey, which Netflix planned to distribute, was cancelled, and the network oh. proceeded to sever all ties with him. He was scheduled to oh. appear in the biographical crime thriller All the Money in the World. However, his scenes were cut out and Christopher Plummer replaced him in reshoots. In an Why didn't they look like him from the future? Like an older version of him. I'm not like... the guy that played Alfred. No. Nah, I don't know. It looks I'll put... so... But look at them. They look like the same person. Look, puffier eyes, puffier nose. Then when you get a little older, you slim down a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> that literally looks like a, a older version of him. The only difference is the eye color. Oh, yeah, yeah. An interview with Variety. They literally have the same hairline. Literally. Boy, that mother. Boy. Scenes were cut out. And- Boy, that mug go like this, boy. And Christopher Plummer replaced him in I know, reshoots. I can't really talk in an interview that. with Variety, Plummer explained, I think it's very sad what happened to him. Kevin is such a talented and terrifically gifted actor. And it's so sad. It's such a shame. That's all I can say because that's it. In just five days since Anthony Rapp's initial allegations, Kevin Spacey was losing his career. But more victims were being revealed nearly every day. When Justin okay. Dawes was 16. 16- I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Not gonna lie. If niggas start coming out of the woodwork, guilty or it. guilty or not, five days and all of this happened is a little too too fat. Not gonna lie. Five. You know how quick that is. One allegation uh, and boom, just everything counts. That's a little too. Fat. That's crazy. And it's crazy they got the stories. That's out of crazy. Like, do they? Do you fact check those stories? That's what I'm saying. Nobody has checked anything. Nobody has checked anything within five days. Yeah. Nobody. And you just canceled all of this, like. I'm not, that's not to say he not guilty, but five days. Here we go with Aaron facts. What do you, what do you mean? I don't, I don't think I said nothing bad, did I? I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. 16 years old in 1988, he said Spacey, who was 29, invited him and a male friend over to watch a movie, but instead gave him a cocktail and played gay prawn. Justin yo, says that Spacey invited yo, just them two. Yo, hey, bro, yo. Hey, okay, these are wild. Hey, bro, I'm calling, hey. I'm calling the cops on these. I'm calling the cops <laughs> on you that day, nigga. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. The same. What the, or what kind of bro? Man, there's some liars, bro. Out. How, bro? You know how, bro? You know how crazy you gotta be to do some shit like that. You also gotta be crazy to lie about some shit like that too. But I feel like I feel like this nigga sound like a nutcase. He do. He do. Nigga, I'm leaving. You not. You not seven. Wow, wow. Wait, 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 wait. Matter of fact, where the fuck is that even in the in there? I want. I'm out. What you mean? Read the line. The G ain't nowhere. Well, maybe it's like later on. Yeah, maybe it's other. He just knows the information. Okay. So he put it in the, yeah, yeah. But I'll instead play. gave him a cocktail and played gay prawn. Justin says that Spacey invited just them two and nobody else, resulting in an awkward situation. He knew that I was in high school, he said. It was pretty clear. But while he found the situation sleazy and manipulative, he said it was not intimidating or pushy. At the time, the 16 year old felt like he should have realized that Spacey wanted him to come over for reasons related to sex. Like maybe this was kind of a coded thing or something that I agreed to. Again, these people were not necessarily trying to accuse Spacey of a crime. This is why, this is why I will never- Aaron, DM me. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's too easy for niggas to fake DMs. It's too easy for niggas to fake text messages. No. Not doing it. And if you're underage and I'm talking to you in a conversation standpoint, in a con- we're- 
it's you either in Discord in a game with us. Yep. Aside from that, fuck that, bro. I don't have nothing to talk to you about. We got nothing in common, bro. This is crazy. We got nothing in common, bro. I remember I had I was getting somebody on an e date. You wanna buy that furry pillow cup? Let them have it. What the hell? I, I remember I had somebody on an e date, uh, and I was setting up. I was getting all the condensed. It was supposed to be. Like, everybody from Discord. I was like, you know what? I'm not doing this shit, bro. Because it's too much that can go wrong. It's too much that can be misconstrued, taken the wrong way. I'm green, bro. I'm green. And Bud, rather trying to highlight his creepy behavior. Filmmaker Tony Montana accused Spacey of groping him in 2003. Kevin approached me. Tony Montana? Tony Montana accused Spacey of groping him in 2003. Kevin approached me. I smiled. He leaned in. His right arm was around my shoulder, and he put his hand underneath the bar, and um, that's when he grabbed me. And he grabbed me very hard, and um, I've never been groped before. And, uh, 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 and he uh, looked at me, uh, and he... Uh, in a, in a very sobering voice and this sardonic look in his face said this designates ownership he's not a big guy but he was a person with power and his power at that moment rendered me helpless montana told the los angeles times i'm not going after kevin for money i don't wish him any ill will it's just he did something 14 years ago that's affecting not only him but all the people who work on that show actor harry dreyfus claimed that kevin spacey groped him at age 18 during a script reading session while his father actor richard dreyfus was in the room over the course of about 20 seconds centimeter by centimeter kevin crawled his hand from my thigh toward my crotch. My mind went blank. Suddenly, he had completed his journey and now he had all of me in his hand. I stopped reading the script and my eyes went wide. That's a crazy, he had all of him. Oh, Mr. Spacey, what yeah. the f do you have to say for yourself? You're a uh, buddy. You're donezo. Buddy. You're donezo. Wow. Look up own record. He's worse. I'm good. No. On November 2nd, 2017, Yo. Variety reported that Kevin's publicist, Stacey Wolf, and his talent agency, oh, Creative oh, Artist oh, Agency, oh, were part ways with, with the him. Publicist, On November bro. 8th, a former news anchor, Heather Unruh, accused Spacey of groping her son at a Nantucket bar in July it's all 2016. dudes! Actor Kevin it's Spacey literally. especially assaulted my son. The victim, my son, was a starstruck straight 18 year old young man kevin spacey bought him drink after drink after drink and when my son was drunk spacey made his move and assaulted him and i want to make it clear Yo. this was a criminal act spacey Yo. stuck his hand inside my son's pants and Yo. grabbed his genitals this was completely unexpected and my son's efforts to shift his body to remove Spacey's hand were only momentarily successful. The violation continued. I'm sorry. Uh, you're... I'm sorry. I'm not even a fighter, but we have to fight. That's a... We have to fight. If I can remember what you did, we have, especially an older white gentleman like you, Spacey. I'm not going to lie, bro. We have to fight. And I'm going to fake the funk, too. Oh, thank you so much for last night. Let's meet up again. I'm going to have a fight. cop in that room, too. We Mutual combat. And if, and if I, for some reason, don't want to fight, you are getting locked up that week. That's sick. My stomach. I am snitching. My stomach is turning, Cause what? Bro. My stomach is turning. And then if the cops don't believe me, then we have to fight for Mikey, sure. that happens. W. Mason, God forbid, what would you even do? I'm not even asking. We, we ain't even gonna have that thought, bro. But if Kevin Spacey put his hands on me while I'm drunk and I remember everything I can think of. Yeah, and trust me, if them people don't believe me, that nigga and dying. you get away with it, you're dying. He you might not die. In GTA. Because I'm not going to jail. But yeah. your ass is getting put to the grass, bro, okay? I got I gotta, I, man, look, bro. I gotta do something. I gotta do something vengeful. My son panicked. He froze. A concerned woman quickly came to my very shaken son's side and asked if he was okay. She told him to run, and he did. He ran as fast oh, so as he could. Also, there's a witness. 
all the way to his grandmother's house. It's As important to remember this Nantucket incident because this is one of the ones that would escalate to a formal trial. One week after that, headlines emerged stating that at least 20 young men over the age of 18 had come forward at the London theater, The Old Vic, to report alleged sexual misconduct by Spacey. The Old Vic is a 1,000 seat, not-for-profit producing theater in London. Spacey okay. was the artistic director of The Old Vic between 2004 and 2015. This allegation essentially paints the picture that Spacey was was using this theater, which was constantly filled with underage yeah. aspiring actors as a way for him to have constant direct access to children he could prey on. On October 31st, 2017, the old Vic engaged an external law firm, Lewis Silken, to undertake the investigation with a remit to look into the claims made in the media and elsewhere. This investigation concluded that there have been 20 personal allegations of incidents relating to the old Vic ranging from 1995 to 2013, with the majority, all but two, falling before 2009. And if you think that was very nondescript- Okay. Oh, he was proven innocent in court. So he was proven innocent of this. How do you get proven innocent of this? If there's a, a victim and a witness. Maybe it wasn't enough substantiated maybe, yeah, maybe evidence. Maybe it wasn't enough evidence. Bro. Because at the same time, how do you prove that you were guilty without evidence? Yeah. You kind of need footage, photos, witnesses. Yeah. Of some sort. Descriptive. Take a look at this middle paragraph. No legal claims, formal grievances, formal disputes, settlement agreements, or payments made or authorized were made at all in relation to Kevin Spacey during his tenure. It has also not been possible to verify any of these uh. allegations, and it is important to note that Kevin Spacey has not commented on them. The review cannot therefore make any findings of fact about the alleged misconduct conduct. I get that they have to clarify this for legal reasons, but doesn't that admission basically nullify this entire press release? It says that 20 people allege Kevin Spacey of inappropriate behavior, but they don't define what that inappropriate behavior is. Is it touching? Is it kissing? Is it advances? Is it taking his shirt off and rubbing his nipples? Is it farting in the theater? They don't mention any of the claimants' names, they don't share any of their testimonies, and it's they said they hired a lawyer to investigate the claims statements. and can't verify if any of the claims or allegations are true. If you can believe it, I didn't even include all of the allegations that are out there. Some outlets have reported as little as 15 people that have spoke out against him, and some report as many as 50 people that have spoke out against him. And even after doing the research myself, I couldn't even give you a number, but it is a lot. But there does Bro. seem to be a pattern. Some of the allegations are just vaguely describing creepy and inappropriate behavior, which right. is technically not a crime. Whereas others are accusing him of groping or grabbing their private parts, which is most certainly sexual assault. Now yeah. the sheer volume of accusations as well as the vagueness makes some people look at it suspiciously, like it's a calculated Hollywood hit piece, whereas others just look at the massive amount of allegations as confirmation that he is a horrible predator. Like now you people don't just know. have the confidence to actually speak like their you truth. you don't know, because I also believe that there can be a Hollywood hit piece for shit like this. I feel like they can be like, all right, this guy gotta go. But also, what reason would they have for him to, to get him up out of here and make him lose his career? But this cryptic video he posted at the end of 2018 only made things worse for him. In a video titled, Let Me Be Frank, posted on Christmas Eve 2018, he is method acting as his character Frank Underwood from House of Cards, where he seemingly right. drops coded messages that are technically him playing a character, but he seems to address his real life accusations. I know what you want. Is, okay, so question, is this after the allegations are already out? Character, but he seems to address his real life accusations. I know what you want. Oh, sure, they may have tried to separate us, yeah. but what we have is too strong. Yeah. It's too powerful. I mean, after all, we shared everything, you and I. I told you my deepest, darkest secrets. I showed you exactly what people are capable of. I shocked you with my honesty, but mostly I challenged you and made you think. And you trusted me, even though you knew you shouldn't. Mm. Very cryptic. See, we're not done, no matter what anyone says. Very cryptic. And besides, I know what you want. You want me back. Of course, some believed everything and had just been waiting with bated breath to hear me confess it all. They're just dying to have me declare that everything said is true and that I got what I deserved. 
Wouldn't that be easy? If it was all so simple. Only you and I both know it's never that simple, not in politics and not in life. But you wouldn't believe the worst without evidence, would you? You wouldn't rush to judgments without facts, would you? Did you? Why, what was the point in him doing this? If I didn't pay the price for the things we both know I did do, I'm certainly not gonna pay the price for the things I didn't do. If he is innocent, this is brilliant. If he is guilty, this is disturbing. Fact. Three Literally. months after this video was posted, Literally. Linda Colkin, who was arrested for stalking Kevin Spacey in 2014, died. Between 2009 Whoa. and 2011, Whoa. federal investigators said Colkin mailed threats to several to people in their workplaces in the United Probably. States and abroad. One of her hoax bomb threats caused police in a foreign city to evacuate a Who building and this? close off a neighborhood. Another, the an stalker. envelope that contained a white powder that looked similar to anthrax, caused people nearby to be quarantined and fear for their health. Prosecutors also said that she was obsessed with actor Kevin Spacey, saying she threatened to kill the actor. She she also sent bomb threats right, to two no. of his workplaces and sent threats to his co-workers and associates. Colkin had in her apartment a picture of Spacey with his eyes blacked out and mouth scribbled out okay. and multiple copies of a page entitled Killing Kevin Spacey. That's some movie type stuff. Some bro, movie type bro, stuff, bro. bro. I'm bro. That's, the, that's the, the craziest part about all this. These are real people. These are like people like this exist, bro. This shit exist. is terrifying, nigga. Hey, this rip to the monetization on this vid, cause all of this is insane. It is monetized, man. You know how they be treating us, <laughs> like second class citizens. Basie, man. Authority said. Appreciate After the stalker man. passed away, many news outlets were reporting that she was an accuser or she had some sort of information that she was unleashing about Kevin Spacey, but I couldn't find anything to support those claims. Basically, it was just a coincidence. Midway through 2019, Spacey was arraigned in a Nantucket courtroom on an indecent assault and battery charge for the alleged incident where he groped the 18-year-old Heather Unruh's son. Keep in mind- Hey, question. Didn't, um, uh, Alex Baldwin, wasn't he found innocent? What's that the guy all set with the, with the bone? I thought he was found guilty. I thought he was found innocent. Innocent? Was it innocent? Yeah, I think he was found innocent. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. But the reason why I brought it up, you remember there was a lot of hate towards him? Yeah. When all it came out and they were like, um, he did it, it was on purpose, da da da. Why would he do that on purpose? He's at work. <laughs> yeah. He's at work. So the question now, and like, he got dropped from, um, a lot of movies. Like, a lot of movies, a lot of TV. That's shows. not even, that's crazy, because yeah. that's not even his, it's the prop people's fault. Yeah. And like, why is this real? It goes, it goes one step further where it's like, they, like, he lost, Alex Baldwin lost everything. I think he even lost, um, position on, um, uh, like, I think he was. Was an executive producer on 30 Rock, all those places. He lost all of that from that shooting. And the craziest part is he doesn't get any of that back, That's even crazy. though he's found innocent. And it's like, it shows like how flimsy your career could be, be even, off some even, bullshit. even when you didn't do nothing. Then you got this nigga, this nigga. Like, I got paid to show up on set. Yeah. They said, take prop gun, shoot fake person or shoot actor with fake gun for movie scene. Boom. Why is this real? What the heck? Oh my God. Tragedy. You lose everything. What about the people who put the thing on the set? Yeah. What, what about what? Yeah, they didn't. Uh, yeah. So he lost everything if I remember correctly. So it's like, it's like, it's such a, this shit is scary, bro. When you put it in perspective, this shit that's insane. That's you, you insane. Lose Find that the vast majority of the allegations that were coming out were many decades old, whereas this one reported. Oh, and then you got people. Granted, I feel like he lost. He lost everything because of public perception, mm -hmm. which is even sadder. Because why are there idiots on this planet that when you hear something like that, you go, "Oh, he did it on purpose." Da -da -da. Yeah. He was an actor on a set with a supposed to be prop gun. What part about that would make you think that, that he is. did it on purpose? Yeah. What part about it? Yeah. I, I Man, don't understand if I people. Ever screw up, it's over. Bro, we done said the hard R. It, bro, it, it, by the time we get mainstream, bro, it's GG's for us, bro. It's GG's for us, bro. <laughs> I'm just riding. I'm just riding a wave to some bullshit. It's That's GG crazy. for us, bro. Exactly because they are dumbass. That's what I'm saying. It's I, sad that they bro, lose everything. The thing public. is, the thing is, it's crazy. When Nate Higgers goes, the thing that's gonna get us is Nate Higgers. When Nate Higgers go viral, I know for a f like mega viral, niggas gonna really point and blame the hard R, everything, bro. Man, we say we say me, things bro. that are unintentionally misogynistic. <laughs> we say things that are unintentionally racist. Thank you. Thank you. Do we say anything homophobic? It's kind of 
Probably. My best friend gay. Oh, fuck y'all niggas. Not y'all. Not fuck y'all. Not me. Niggas. Not me. Yeah, not, not me. Simba. Not me. No, He's not talking about Simba. He's talking about not me. He likes no. Me. He's like no. Whoa. 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 There's nothing wrong with being gay. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being Simba gay. Simba is the one. Yeah. We talking about. Yeah. 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 He talking about his yeah. other one. Yeah. My, yeah. Other one. Yeah. yeah. That's that's the Spider Man to our Deadpool Wolverine. Yeah. It happened in July of 2016. Spider-Man. So it, yeah, because Deadpool is really cl- close with uh, Spider Man oh, too. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. It was well within the statute of limitations for a criminal proceeding. On May 30th, 2019, Nantucket District Court Judge Thomas Barrett granted access by Spacey's attorneys to six he months of like the Kevin alleged Spacey. victim's text messages following the alleged incident and the surveillance video wait, from some district court limitations for a criminal proceeding. On May 30th, 2019, Nantucket District Court Judge Thomas Barrett granted access by Spacey's attorneys to six months of the alleged victim's text messages following the alleged incident and the surveillance right. video from the club car, the location okay. where the incident took place. Place and where okay. Unra's son worked as a busboy from 5 okay. p.m. July 7th, 2016 so to 3 a.m. July 8th, according to court records. On May 31st, Spacey's defense attorneys alleged that the accuser erased potentially incriminating text messages from the time surrounding his encounter with Spacey before providing screenshots of their conversation to the police. Clearly, the accuser has gone to great lengths to remove text messages he believes did not fit his narrative, Damn. defense attorney Damn. Alan Jackson wrote in the filing. The prosecution is aware of this and hid that information from the defense. On June 20th, the court was informed that the accuser's cell phone had mysteriously gone missing and was nowhere to be found. The judge then ordered if the phone was not located by July 8th, then the accuser and his family had to testify about what happened. And by July 8th, the cell phone was never found. The accuser testified from the witness stand where he acknowledged a typo in the police report. It was initially revealed to the court that he reported the assault in October of 2016, which was three months after it allegedly happened. He then admitted that he actually reported the assault in October of 2017, 15 months after it allegedly happened, which was exactly the same time that all of the other allegations were coming out against Kevin Spacey. Mm. After he was asked okay. about the typo, as well as the deleted text messages and the missing phone, he decided to invoke his Fifth Amendment right and remain silent. Oh my God. Establish the circumstances of his yeah. allegation on the night in question. This case needs to be dismissed, and I believe it needs to be dismissed today. The judge seemed to agree, saying he wasn't sure if the case would continue or collapse. The accuser's mother, a former Boston TV anchor, admitted today, I deleted a few things. With deleted evidence. Why? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I deleted a few. Oh, my God. I deleted a few things. Oh, 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 I deleted a few things. Oh, oh, yes, it was me and now refusing to give a testimony, there was no case, so it was dropped. But there was another man who was suing Kevin Spacey. The anonymous accuser, who said he decided not to reveal his identity for fear of harassment and personal embarrassment, filed the lawsuit in September of 2018. He alleged that during a massage in October of 2016, Spacey forced him to touch his genitals before asking if he could perform oral on him. The case was filed at the Los Angeles Superior Court, then was moved to a federal court and a pre-trial conference had been scheduled for May of 2019. However, we never got to go to trial because the accuser died. A source told Variety that the accuser died of cancer. Therefore, the case was dismissed. Spacey, likely feeling happy about having two cases back to back dismissed, he uploaded another cryptic video as Frank Underwood titled KTWK, an acronym for Kill Them With Kindness. You didn't really think I was going to miss the opportunity to wish you a Merry Christmas, did you? It's been a pretty good year, and I'm grateful to have my health back. You know what this could be? One of two things. This nigga's actually crazy as fuck. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Or two, nigga's doing this shit to make money on YouTube. Because he's going to rack in the views. (laughs) And in light of that, I've made some changes in my life, and I'd like to invite you to join me. As we walk into 2020... I want to cast my vote for more good in this world. Ah, yes. I know what you're thinking. Can he be serious? I'm dead serious. And it's not that hard, trust me. The next time someone does something you don't like, you can go on the attack. But you can also... Kill them with kindness. He's saying he killed that nigga, twin. Allegedly. 
Allegedly. Well, they say that nigga died of cancer, but nobody knew he had that, bro. So hold your fire and do the unexpected. You can <coughs> kill them with kindness. This guy definitely has a professional hitman okay. friend named Kindness. And would you believe yeah. that the very okay. next day after this YouTube video was posted, Christmas Day, December 25th, 2019, <clears throat> another Kevin Spacey accuser took his own life. Ari Ben was a Norwegian author who told the BBC about the alleged what incident the? dated back to 2007. We had a great talk. He sat right beside me. After five minutes, he said, hey, let's go out and have a cigarette. Then he puts his hand under the table and grabs me by the ball. Okay, How look, close was he? Look, um, How close was he? So that's not that's not an easy joke. That is, <laughs> like, like, that's a, like, I'm not making light of this. I'm not. <laughs> Hey, he was bro, probably sitting next to him. Bro, bro. lock this nigga up, bro. Dude. Okay, I believe the truth is sitting somewhere in the middle. Yeah, I believe that half of the allegations are, are probably true. false. Yeah. I say they half of them, but I, I mean, it means the same thing. Yeah. But I also believe because why is little, air, so why is a little too much? Bro. Why is everybody saying this nigga touched their dick, bro? It's a little. It's it's. It, I, Bro, ain't it's no too many. Like, it's too many. I ain't no nigga. Yeah, it's too many. He touched my my no no square. Like, like okay, even if I think he did it, bro. Even like, if old buddy and his mom no, Kevin, was lying, you see this? It hit, in, in, in our opinion, it looks damning on you, bro. Yeah, like good luck to like, you. I, I, I ain't saying you did it. The allegations are crazy, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's insane. Yeah. I should mention that Ari was not trying to pursue a legal case against Spacey. His death, again, is just merely a coincidence that he had accused Kevin of misconduct in the past. Nah, crazy. But Spacey's legal troubles were not over. Remember Anthony Rapp, the actor who was the first to expose Spacey's alleged behavior? Well, he finally yeah. decided to sue Spacey three years after he made the initial allegations, which originally took place in 1986. In the suit, Rapp was joined by a man who requested to remain anonymous and accused Spacey of abusing him in 1983, when he was 14 and Spacey was 24. However, on June 17th, 2021, the anonymous accuser was dismissed from the case due to uh -huh. his refusal to publicly identify uh -huh. himself. As Rapp's trial against Spacey commenced in October of 2022, it was revealed that Rapp provided an inaccurate description of the apartment where the alleged abuse took place. Uh -huh. On October 17th, the judge dismissed the emotional distress charges as a duplicate of all the battery charges. Not only did the jury find Spacey not liable of all charges, but they actually ordered Rap to pay Spacey $39,000 in damages. Oh. And it somehow gets even. Hey, bro, don't sue us. We are no, just bro. reacting hey, to the information, bro. This is just. We, we just, just reacting this is to the information. And information, bro. You me? I ain't suing you for nothing, dog. Yeah, I, you bro, know what I'm look, this don't got nothing to do with me, nigga. Fuck you. I'm just saying you look guilty. That don't mean you are yeah, guilty. You got, they saying you touching niggas' dick. I don't, I don't got you nothing to do with us, bro. When I touch his thigh on stream, it's a joke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We know, it's, it's, like all stream, I wouldn't, you yeah. know what I'm saying, type B. And we not yeah. saying we not you did or didn't. Take that up with you, God, and whatever judge yeah, come your yeah. way. And you keep I'm kindness. only saying it sound like you did. Keep kindness that away don't from mean you did it. Keep yeah, kindness yeah. away from Kindness don't come this way. And crazier. A judge has ordered Kevin Spacey to pay House of Cards production company MRC nearly $31 million for alleged misconduct behind the scenes. MRC argued yeah, that Spacey careful, owed them millions in lost profits kindness. because his yeah. misconduct forced them to remove him from the sixth season of the show, and it had to trim the season from 13 episodes to eight. Again, they don't exactly detail what alleged inappropriate behavior took place, what? but the judge Ooh. found that Spacey violated MRC's harassment policy with respect to five House of Cards crew members. Oh. Despite this ruling in February 2024, Spacey reached an agreement with MRC to reduce Hey, DK Leo, don't wait, 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 spend wait, wait, this wait, shit wait. on us, bro. Use a $31 million judgment to $1 million. But in return, Spacey will back arguments from MRC in a legal battle against its insurer that he was written out of the show because he was too sick to return, which would allow them to collect on a $150 million insurance policy. These people, so like not, I said, the truth lies somewhere in the middle. So, like, he agreed to it. He agreed that it happened so they could get paid? No, he was found guilty. He was found guilty. Yeah. But they reduced the 31 million to 1 million if he agreed to lie to the insurance. Oh, to get 150. Yeah. 
Damn. The judge found him guilty, but then he settled with the people that sued him. That's crazy. People don't care about victims. They care about money. They tried to get $30 million from Spacey, and they realized that they couldn't, or maybe he couldn't pay. So then they it. teamed up with Spacey to convince the insurance company that he- Isn't that fraud? That's not, yeah. Is that's that not fraud. How would, okay. Well, Is that first not of, fraud? First of all, the first of all. Who that's fraudulent. First of all, the insurance company is dumb as hell because he just went to sue. They literally just went to court to say that he was gone and the reason he was gone and y'all gonna pay them 150 mil? That's Bro. a dumbass. I need that is what? He was too sick to perform in the show and that's why they fired him, which could have potentially granted them an up to $150 million payday. But we all know he wasn't too sick to perform. We know he, was he wasn't. canceled for being an alleged sexual deviant PDF file. But Spacey was fighting yet another case in the United Kingdom after he was charged Damn! by the Crown Prosecution Service, or CPS, with four counts of sexual assault against three different companies. Okay, buddy, I'm it's sorry. So many it's men. So, it's the bro. It's so many men, bro. bro. And I don't think, bro, I, bro, let's be real. Men, for the most part, are only gonna be like, hey, this happened to me, bro. Which most of them are. Yeah. Most of them are just like, hey, bro, he did this, bro. I ain't even gonna, but hey, he's sick, bro. He's sick. Bro. It's And he got his own production company. Sued him. May 26, 2022. The alleged offenses occurred between 2005 and 2013 in London and Gloucestershire. Yeah, that's the best I got for that town name. Then a few months later, they added an additional seven charges against Spacey, all related Brother! to a single complainant arising from incidents alleged to have occurred between 2001 Brother! and 2004. One of the victims claimed Spacey, quote, approached him and gave him a hug, kissed his neck, grabbed his crotch, and squeezed while while telling You're the man sick. to be cool, be cool. You're sick! You could literally just date! That nigga on that nigga, that nigga is stuck in that. You're a star! That nigga is celebrity stuck, stuck in that rich. It's like locked. You could just he, date people who actually like you, who are actually swinging the way you swing. Not just assaulting For Kevin people. Spacey, it couldn't have been that hard. You, you just assaulting people, bro. You just walking up, Mwah, be cool, be cool. That's, that's crazy, dude, that's insane. And last but not least, you could pay. That's crazy, <laughs> that's crazy, dude. You know how insane that is. What up, bro, nice to meet you. Mwah, be cool, nigga. Be cool, like Damien from, from Friday after next, bro. Mm, okay. Squeeze. I'm just saying, that's crazy work. Another victim alleged that he had been drugged by the actor and said he woke up to Spacey performing a sexual act on him. But after a month long trial, a jury acquitted Spacey of all charges. I'm enormously grateful to the jury for having taken the time to examine all of the evidence and all of the facts carefully before they reach their decision. And I am humbled by the outcome today. Being acquitted is slightly different than being found not guilty. Acquittal means that the prosecution did not present enough evidence to prove right. Spacey as guilty right. beyond a reasonable doubt. For the right. past six to seven years, Spacey has been in non-stop legal battles. That's why he don't and have although money. Although he has yet to be proven guilty of a crime, he has entirely lost his career. Unable to make any money from movies and television, he claims he is facing foreclosure and possible bankruptcy on an interview with Piers Morgan. Are you, I mean, are you facing bankruptcy? Uh, been a couple of times when I thought I was going to file, but we've managed to sort of dodge it. How much money do you have? None. I, I still owe a lot of legal bills that you're I have not been in, able to pay. You're actually in debt? Yes. Do you mind me asking how much you owe? It's considerable. Millions? Many millions, yes. I had no idea he won. The media is disgusting. What is bizarre is that the allegations were heavily publicized, but the fact that he was found guilty of none of them was barely covered publicly, leaving most people who haven't- It's just the amount, bro. Man. It's the sheer amount. Just it's like the, the millions amount, of illegal fees, brother. There's a reason he got millions, of, bro. I amount, bro. truly don't believe- and, Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 bro, wait, wait, uh, wait. You know what? Let's Acquittal. Just... He was acquitted. He was acquitted of some, not guilty of others. Niggas died in others. The truth ain't over here. The truth ain't over here. The it's, truth it's is too much. It's too it's much. It's too much. Too much, bro. Plus the videos. 
It's too much, bro. This is why are you posting videos as Frank? You don't even work as Frank no more, yeah. buddy. You not Frank. You are Kevin. Followed events carefully, still under the impression he was found guilty. If we were to piece together all of the allegations, this is what the media and victims were trying to convey to the public. Kevin Spacey was seemingly preying on sometimes underage boys as well as young men who were questioning their sexuality, or at least he thought they were questioning their sexuality. Yeah. He then lured them in with his power and esteemed status, and based on a lot of these victims' testimonials, he was giving them the impression that he was interested in them sexually, whether through verbal cues or body language oh, yeah, yeah. or situational cues. However, there were also tons of accusations of him straight up grabbing them or groping them or touching them inappropriately or kissing them, hoping they were also interested in him. Many of them mentioned that the moment they showed some pushback or some resistance that he seemingly gave up. If any of this is true, at best, it's still assault. Like, none of this could be really deemed as flirting. Yeah. And yeah. at worst, it's potentially pedophilia and R-wording. The victims often say that they froze or panicked in the moment. They didn't know how to push him away or really escape from the situation. Then they didn't report the crimes because they didn't want their masculinity to be questioned or they didn't want people to know or think they were gay or they didn't think anyone would care or believe them. Very similar reasons why female victims of SA don't often speak up. The victims True. had more reasons True. to stay silent than to speak up, which seemingly allowed Spacey to act in this predatory manner for decades. But again, all of this is just alleged yes. because, well, Ooh, he wait. was never found guilty of any of this. You have to ask yourself, is the sheer volume of accusations enough to prove that he is guilty of being this horrible predator? It could be. Because again, could not he be. was not found guilty of any crime. Innocent until proven guilty, right? Does his method acting tendencies and creepy YouTube videos make you believe that he was essentially flaunting his power and ability to get away with such heinous crimes? And does this make you look at his art and movie characters differently? Even after knowing all of this information, can you separate the art from the artist? Well, that's up for you to decide. It's, it's just a little fishy, yeah. my brothers. It's, it's too just, much. Just bro. a little fishy, yeah.